This is Dolphin, which was built by Yarwoods and launched in 1925 uh, for Fellows Morton and Clayton, the famous canal carrying company, um, and existed until 1948 until the waterway system was nationalised. The present owner has had it nearly four decades now, 38 years he tells me, and during his time he had the cabin added, he had a tug deck created at the front, and the stern has been completely rebuilt. People often ask me what a, a Joshua bow looks like. Well, there you go, the real thing. That's what they look like, or should look like. They don't always. Um, you've got a decent sized tug deck on this. And beneath it, some um, copious amount of storage. You know, you've got bicycles in there. You put the in-laws in there, in fact, it's huge. And there's also space beneath for a water tank, which I think is something in the region of 200 gallons, apparently. Step stop, drop down into the saloon. And in here you've got space for, well, as you can see, you've got these swiveling chairs with footstools, there's a drop leaf table but you could happily put a sofa in here as well, or instead. The radiator you see there, by the way, is part of a diesel central heating system that runs throughout the boat. And in the corner here, you've got a multi-fuel stove. It's a, the highly popular Morso Squirrel. Coming back through, you enter the galley. Which is a walkthrough. You've got fridge in here, gas cooking, as you can see, plenty of cupboards and drawers, and you've got side hatches on either side of the galley. Just a word about the construction of the original hull. Uh, it was what's known as a composite. That means that the sides were in iron and the bottom of it was in elm. Uh, well, the elm has long since been replaced. It now has half-inch steel on the bottom. It's about 12 and a half mil in modern money. Anyway, beyond this, you have the bathroom. Got a basin set into a cupboard unit here, a porta potty cassette WC opposite. And over here is the shower. And behind the glazed glass doors you have the mixer tap and modern shower head. And then beyond this is the double bedroom. This is a decent sized double. It's about six foot three in width at length I mean and um, four foot six in width and a wardrobe here although it's split doors it's actually a full height wardrobe as you can see and in the opposite corner we have a, a dressing table all very nicely done and shelving above the wood that you see lining the cabin sides is a uh, pine it's probably piranha pine it's taken on a lovely sort of reddish hue over the years now, coming back round the outside, we get to the original part of the boat when it was a working boat. Um, at the stern end here, you have the back cabin. And this is entirely separate from the modern cabin that's been added. The bulkhead that you saw where the bed was, the permanent double, is, is solid. And to get round here, you come round the outside of the boat. But this back cabin is pretty much the original. Um, the exterior would originally have been constructed in wood, but that's been redone in steel, not surprisingly after all these years. Um, the interior is largely the original, I understand. There's some lovely original canal art in here as well, as you can see on the various panels. Roses and castles, as you expect. You've also got the boatman's range here, um, and lace plates, brassware, all of this stuff which I understand is to go with the boat because it's uh, part of its history. This is the drop-down table that you always got in a back cabin where they 
might sit and uh, eat a meal when they've got the time. And in the forward part of the back cabin, you have the drop down bed. Um, it's, it's about three foot one wide. It's not massively wide, and which goes to show you really, people weren't quite so big in those days, or they were able to deal with more cramped conditions without bothering too much. Uh, this door here leads through into the engine room, and in here is a Bollinger, but it's a three-cylinder Bollinger from the 1960s. I think it's towards the end of uh, engines being produced under the Bollinger mark. It's a 50 horsepower unit. Uh, in front of it, that green tank with the red panel is a very large diesel tank. I believe that is something like 200 or 250 gallons as well. And also in the engine room there is an inverter, master bolt inverter in fact. Um, and that is Dolphin for a full colour brochure, a photo gallery and a layout plan. Please go to rugbyboats.co.uk. Okay.